So about a year ago, I went to Target to get my flu shot, and it didn't go too well. They screwed up and whatever, my arm wasn't working very well for probably the next six months. I had to go to physical therapy, it was a big mess. Anyway, after that whole event, I blamed Target. I blamed Target pretty badly. And this is a good example of what's called the actor-observer bias. This is a tendency to attribute one's own actions to external causes while attributing other people's behaviors to internal causes. So because I was the actor in the situation, I was, instead of saying, you know what, I probably should have went to my doctor instead of Target, I was just saying it was all Target's fault. I was blaming the situation. I was blaming the situational factors instead of dispositional factors. Dispositional factors being what I have control over, basically my disposition, which would be choosing to go to a doctor as opposed to going to like a CVS or a Target. And with the actor observer bias, we have two parts to that. We have the actor and then we have the observer. The actor is situational. So when we are the actor, we're looking at situational forces. That's what we're focusing on. When we're the observer and we're watching other people, we're thinking about dispositional. So if I see somebody on the street and they trip, I would think that they're a klutz instead of thinking that they may have tripped something pros probably on the sidewalk and that's what they tripped over. So it really has to do with focus and that's the actor-observer bias.